Hey Susan, this is uh, Romeo here again, and uh, you know, I just wanted to make you a video and tell you that, you know, I'm thinking about you, and uh, you know, I remember how our favorite band, you know, was Guns N' Roses, and uh, you know, Guns N' Roses was just such a big, huge part of our life, you know, we was talking about you know, if Axel and Slash were going to get back together and uh, just listening to their music and watching their concert videos on YouTube all the time, you know, and uh, it was just uh, so disappointing, you know, when I went to Las Vegas and uh, and he didn't show up there, you know, because we used to always talk about, you know, if Guns N' Roses ever would get back together, you know, that, you know, we would we would go see them no matter what. And, uh, you know, I just thought that, you know, when I went to go see Guns N' Roses, it's like part of me thought that maybe he would surprise me, you know, and he would be there, you know. <clears throat> and that's why I tried to let you know before I went that, you know, I was going to be there or where I was going to be, you know. And uh, that's part of the reason why I just walked out of the concert because it just... You know, it wasn't very good without you there. Uh, you know, I just always like to try to share things with you. You know, <clears throat> sharing things with you is kind of what uh, made things so great anyway. Like anything I did, you know, anything I, you could think of doing, it might be good to do by yourself. But if I could do it with you, it made it a million times better. You know, um, it's just like... If we'd be watching a movie together or something, I used to just love sitting on the couch sometimes. If we were just watching a movie, I'd watch, you know, the expression on your face oftentimes during the movie because I just, it just made me feel good to know that you were enjoying a movie or something like that. I like to see, you know, your expression on your face. Or I was curious to know what you were thinking about it something. You know, I remember one time you, we were watching movies and you told me, why are you staring at me? Why do you keep looking at me? Quit looking at me. You know, just watch the movie. But, you know, it's like, I just like seeing you enjoy watching the movie. It's that I got so much enjoyment out of just seeing you enjoy things, you know, and, uh, you know, that's why I remember that time we watched that movie, Cheech and Chong, you know, Cheech and Chong movie that we watched and you just laughed and laughed and laughed and you laughed so much you just slapped my leg you know as you were laughing like really hard you know and I remember how you used to do that like if something was extremely funny and we were sitting side by side you would just slap my leg really hard you know because it was just a, like an impulse reaction when you would just be laughing so just missed that so much, you know, and just kind of like when we'd go to the Funny Bone, you know, the, the Funny Bone Comedy Club, you know, and uh, you would, uh, you had that unique, distinctive laughter, you know, that you just had a way of laughing that, like, nobody else laughed like that, and, and when you laughed, then everybody else would start laughing too, like you were the lead laughter, you were the lead laugher, you know, and, uh, just think about all those things all the time, you know, whenever I have time to think about anything, and which is not a whole lot, but, you know, um, just, it just made me sad that you weren't there in Las Vegas, you know, to see Guns N' Roses with me, because it wasn't really worth a shit without you, and it would have been a whole lot better, you know, if you would have been there, and, uh, You know, I just couldn't even stay long enough to see the, the November rain, you know, because that was really our song, you know, and uh, there just wasn't going to be no way I could watch, you know, stay and watch, you know, November rain, you know, without you, you know, and uh, so I just, you know, I was going to have to leave that concert anyways, you know, I just, I don't know, I guess I just kind of hoped that you would, uh, you would, uh, you know, kind of, be there and it would be like this reunion, you know, to where like, to 
the first time when we met, you know, when you met me at the airport, you know, and we just wanted to run into each other's arms like you see in all the classic movies, you know, and, uh, it really wasn't that great of a concert, though, anyway, you know, I mean, um, it's kind of like you said, one day they'd get back together, but it would only be for the money and everything, you know, because of Axel, but, you know, it, you know, it isn't really the same, you know, not having Steven Adler and Izzy Stradlin, you know, because Izzy Stradlin was responsible for writing most of the songs, and none of the songs really sound as good without Steven on drums, you know, it makes, he made such a huge uh, difference in the feel of the songs. It, it just seems really mean, you know, the way that Axl Rose and the rest of the band have treated Steven Adler. He was really the nicest guy in that band. And he was always the most positive person in the band, you know, and he just loves that band so much and they won't even hardly play with him anymore, you know, and uh, it's really depressing too. And uh, you know, um, I was gonna make a video and I kind of forgot what I was gonna make a video about. Um, because I just got like so depressed thinking about November rain and how you, you didn't come to Las Vegas, you know, to see the concert with me and how that was such a huge part of our life it was Guns N' Roses, you know? And I remember, you know, how exciting it was for us, you know, that get to meet Duff McKagan that day, you know, how that was such a big deal, you know, and I remember the time that Axl Rose came to Huntington, but we didn't go see him because it was just Axl Rose and nobody else, and we were just kind of pissed that it would be so disappointing to not have Slash there, but then we kind of thought, well, maybe we should have went anyway, because, you know, it's not like many bands ever come to Huntington, West Virginia, but maybe one good band every year, I think about once a year, we've seen a good concert, but I remember all those concerts, you know, that we seen together just like it was yesterday. You know, those were some of the happiest times of our life, you know, when we were getting to see a concert, good, a good concert together, you know, because um, we would look forward to that, you know, and it would be like this little countdown to the concert, you know, we would count the days and the weeks or whatever to it, you know, and it'd be something to really look forward to, you know, and uh, I remember you really liked that Def Leppard concert that we went to, you know, that was really cool, you know, to go see Def Leppard, and I remember that we really enjoyed that concert with George Lynch, you know, and, um, and you took a lot of really good pictures George Lynch, you know, playing guitar, you know, like he took like all these really awesome looking pictures. He looked like they should have been like, um, you know, like, uh, like pictures that you would see like on the guitar magazine or something, you know, like. You were really good at taking pictures. I remember that one Christmas, you know, I bought you a camera for Christmas. 
Because I do just like taking pictures, you know. I want 